We're at Newland Creek today, and Newland Creek's a fairly small stream that we've had cutthroat in for a number of years. South Prong of Hayden had a wildfire in 2016 that burnt the watershed pretty bad, and really bad, and we were in fear that those cutthroat, uh, they were a unique cutthroat, had unique genes that we didn't want to be lost in a flood event or something like that. So we went in after the fire and grabbed those fish, some fish from South Prong of Hayden and moved a portion of them to our hatchery to start propagating them and then also brought uh, several dozen here to Newland Creek. So we're here at Newland Creek to see if we can find any of those fish, see how they're doing um, and potentially reintroduce more of those fish here. Fish in South Prong of Hayden, they have unique genes in that they, a portion of their genome or a portion of their genes match a museum specimen that was collected in, I think, 1889 by David Starr Jordan. He was an early explorer and ichthyologist, and he came out west and collected fish uh, throughout the west, but he collected a specimen from uh, Twin Lakes and brought that back east and it ended up at the Smithsonian. And so a recent study in, I want to say 2010-ish, um, by a grad graduate student from CU Boulder, went and took samples from the fish in the museum and had those uh, genetically analyzed and we compared those to cutthroat streams throughout Colorado. And it turns out that the South Prong of Hayden fish matched a cutthroat that was taken in 1889 from Twin Lakes. And so we can't find those, that specific genome anywhere else on the landscape except South Prong of Hayden. So we knew we were kind of under the gun and needed to rescue those fish as soon as we can. So, um, you know, it was here essentially, we think before man was, um, or at least when the early explorers were here. And so we don't really truly know the entire story behind it, but we think it's worth, worth preserving because it's so unique. We see that these South Prong of Hayden fish are important in that they were here when the early explorers were here. And so we don't necessarily, haven't really made the decision that the South Prong of Hayden cutthroats are the cutthroat, the native cutthroat to the Arkansas Basin, but uh, we'd like to protect those genes. And so we're probably going to look at getting three to five populations out on the landscape to protect them from fire and flood and disease. So if we have you know, a number of populations, four or five, we feel pretty confident that at least they'll, they'll survive for, for the foreseeable future. For me, it goes back to, you know, these fish were here before man was. And if we had not introduced rainbow trout or brown trout or all the brook trout, um, all these non-native fish, we would have cutthroat everywhere in the state. These, all these streams would be full of cutthroat. And it was just part of early management that we thought, you know, they were good sports fish, and that was the decision that was made to stock those non-native fish, because they do provide excellent recreational opportunities, but they outcompete the native cutthroat. And so, for me, it's just that they were here before man was, and so I think it's our, our duty to protect them and, and make sure they are around for future generations.